Good morning guys. I'm out here in Castaic Lake and trout was just planted about three days ago. I think it was the third or fourth trout plant. So I'm gonna be throwing this crazy little trout fly again. The rainbow trout fly, nine inches long. It's uh, huge. And I got that one fish to bite the other time. Um, my last video, it's either gonna be my last video or it's gonna be in this video because I only have one bite. So I'm gonna see if I can get a few more to bite on this uh, trout fly. If that doesn't work out, I'll probably downsize to a shad fly or a yak fly. And we'll see how things go. See you on a bit. Oh, there you go. There you go, guys. Crappie. Let's go. Nice. Nice crappie right here. Man, I was trying to fly earlier this morning and then I wanted to check one of my crappie spots and it's still going on. The only problem is I forgot my crappie jigs today. Dang it. Oh, I got another crappie. Oh, yeah. Freaking nice crappie. Let's go, guys. Oh yeah, there you go. Got a nice one. There you go. That's what we're looking for. This guy is deep, 40 feet down. On the yak fly. Man, I went pretty long without a bite. It's been a couple of hours. I went for crappie in the morning and I just couldn't find the stripers. Or well, I found them, they just weren't biting. I got a few uh, miss, pin and misses here and there, but overall it was just pretty slow. But this guy's a nice one, I can tell. Yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, not as good as I thought. Schooly. There you go. That's a nice one on a yak fly. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a real nice one. It's good head shapes. And the reason why I know it's a real good one is because the second I hook onto it, my drag set, it just feels stuck. But you feel the head shape at the same time. You just can't move it. So. I know this guy's pretty big. On the yak fly as well. Same depth, about like uh, 40 feet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good 
one. Oh yeah. Not the biggest by any means, but that's a good one. That's a good one. And the arc fly. Let's go. That's the right kind. Twenty feet down this time. Shallow. Pretty big too. One of the nice one guys. On the yak fly. Oh these wall that thing is gone. Well wow. Uh, on the yak fly, 30 feet down. That's another good one, guys. Oh! Stop in here, guys. Ah, it's another good one. He choked it. Another good one. Holy crap. All in the same spot, guys. It's crazy.
Oh my gosh. This is actually getting crazy, man. How many of you guys are down here? Another one that's 20 feet down. A nice one. Nice coolie. Not even schooly. It was skinny. It's a good one though. heavy. Might be the best one of the day. Hopefully a nine or a nine pounder or bigger. All right guys, that's the end of the day. I think this video is all over the place, but I started out in the morning using that trout fly and I got stuck, which sucked because that thing was like $175. So I sucked a lot, but after that I caught some crappie and got into a nice school of striped bass. I think I got into like seven or eight in a row and they're all pretty solid. Nothing huge, but all solid stripers today. And it's just pretty wide open yet again on the yak fly. If you guys are interested, the yak fly is linked in the description below. And if you guys like this, please leave a like on the video. And if you guys want to see some more, please subscribe and I'll catch y'all on the next trip. Peace.